Scarlet loves school, even though it's fast-paced and it's a big school with lots of kids, and so that's challenging. She loves to learn and loves to go see everyone. We love to read books. We just recently read Frankenstein together, and now we're reading Chronicles of Narnia. Disfrutamos cada momento que pasamos juntos. Aunque no lo hace perfectamente, le gusta mucho caminar. Le ponemos pedacitos de comida en la mesa y los pone en la boca. Ella aplaude y puedes ver en su cara la felicidad que tiene de que hizo algo por ella misma. Ben loves music, Ben loves movies, uh, he loves listening to music, he loves playing music, uh, he has a little drum set, he has a little ukulele, he loves to read, he, some books he can read by himself and others he has us read to him, but uh, he's a pretty creative kid, so anything that's creative, that's what he likes to do. We didn't know he had Down syndrome before he was born, so that was a, uh, a big surprise for us. I mean, there's shock and you're, it's a grieving process because it's not what you expected as a parent. My daughter Scarlett had a stroke when she was 17 months old, so that um, left her with cerebral palsy. So she was perfectly healthy, happy little chubby baby running all over the place, and now she uses a power wheelchair. She needs assistance to stand, and it has completely flipped my life upside down. I think some of the biggest challenges are the way other people react. Sometimes maybe they can't understand what he's saying, so they're uncomfortable, and up front you can tell that some people haven't had a chance to react to a kid with special needs before. Para mí es muy difícil tener a Samira, como a veces siento como que no podemos hacer cosas. Siempre ella es el centro de mi atención. Como yo tengo mi niño, él quería ir al parque, él quería hacer cosas. Pero cuando no puedes hacerlas juntos como familia. I think the biggest challenge I've had uh, having a child with a disability has been the feeling of isolation. I think you have to devote a little more time when you have a child with special needs into being educated as a parent into the resources that you can find for them and the help that you can get for them in the community. We're kind of tired. It takes a lot of effort to get out there and be connected with people. I did hear about our local family network and got hooked in with all the fun events. When we first moved here, we had no connections in the community, so we found a local family network. The family fun nights are awesome because the kids have a great time and the parents get to form those connections and you get to brainstorm with other parents. One of the most valuable thing I've received from the family network is help with IEP meetings so that uh, when I go into meetings with the school, that I feel like I'm not alone and just me against uh, a team of professionals. No sentirte sola, como saber que hay más familias que en diferente modo estamos en la misma situación. No one is going to advocate for your child better than you can as a parent. Somos el único soporte para nuestros hijos con disabilidad. Interacting with a local family network is critical if you're going to raise a child with special needs in a community. We've had the opportunity to go in and and speak to educators and to let them know that when they presume our daughter can participate and be successful, that's exactly what happens. We could say, oh, you know, he has a disability, he can't do those things and just let him go. But we do challenge him. I think a lot of times we don't give him enough credit for what he's able to do. Um, like his bar mitzvah he just had, it's like, how is he gonna learn Hebrew? It was hard for me when I was 13 years old, but he mastered it and did a great job. She's often at the top of the class but you just have to presume that she can participate and understand and be successful. Nunca darse por vencido. Pueden hacer más de lo que mucha gente piensa. Siempre ayudarles y, y seguir adelante con ellos. Oregon Council on Developmental Disabilities. Find out more at ocdd.org.